I've been HIV positive for 30 years now. Just because you're HIV doesn't make you an alien. You know, you just have an illness that they have no cure for it right now. When you look at stigma and the rate of HIV infection, especially in the black and brown communities, we need to do better. I think that's the biggest issue around HIV testing. Lack of education and thinking what is going to happen, how is my life going to change if I come out to be HIV positive. Getting to zero, it's a huge undertaking. And so you've got to be among the people to understand the people. The Connecticut Getting to Zero initiative was created to respond to the alarming trends in the HIV epidemic. In Connecticut, there is a growing number of new cases of HIV among men having sex with men of color, black women, and transgender women. The number of people living with HIV is highest in these five cities, Hartford, New Haven, Bridgeport, Waterbury, and Stamford. The five urban areas also have the highest number of new diagnoses. These increases led to the formation of the G2Z Commission, which conducted listening sessions with the most impacted populations. The listening sessions asked questions regarding HIV testing, prevention, care, and stigma. The listening sessions revealed some of the barriers to HIV testing. The biggest fear is that they don't have education about it. And I think that's what stops people from getting tested. The fear of knowing. Pre-exposure prophylaxis, known as PrEP, is a daily medication taken to prevent or lower the chances of being infected with HIV if exposed. I love the fact that HIV is not a barrier for love. PrEP is out there and if you fall in love with somebody who's HIV positive, you still have a chance in sharing your life with that person um, because there's a medication that will protect you from it. Better access to HIV care for the affected populations is needed. We oftentimes, as professionals in the helping profession, we provide help that we think is going to do something for the individual, not what the individual has expressed to us. Stigma affects every aspect of HIV testing, prevention, and care. We have to create communities and environments where people are not ashamed of who they are. Not only am I a transgender woman, but I'm also HIV positive. I had family members that they weren't dealing with me just due to my transitioning. I couldn't possibly tell them that I'm HIV. The G to Z Commission compiled a report from the information gathered at the listening sessions. Their recommendations include develop routine HIV testing legislation, implement standardized care for people living with HIV statewide, launch education programs about HIV stigma, care, and prevention, including the use of PrEP and PEP, and form working groups at the state and city level to develop plans to get to zero. I believe we are sparking new conversations and entering into new partnerships. Me as a person and me as a gay male Hispanic um, and just being in the listening session it kind of it was like an eye-opening for me. If we open up the conversation and allow people just to experience who they are it makes it more difficult for stigma to exist. We've had enough. No one else should have to contract this disease. No one else should have to live in silence and suffer in silence. And no one else should be dying from HIV and AIDS. Just because you're HIV positive doesn't mean you're sentenced to death. And that you could live a long, productive life being HIV positive. And that you have a heart and soul, just like everybody else. Connecticut getting to zero. Zero new HIV infections. Getting to zero. Zero HIV related deaths. Getting to zero. Zero stigma. Connecticut getting to zero.